right good afternoon everyone um first video since i came back from my break i went on a weekend well not a weekend it was a like a long weekend trip with my four of my sisters three of them traveled with me or i traveled with three of them and one of them already was on the coast it, uh, she has a caravan there and we had a fantastic time it was really really good so, lovely weather brilliant weather and some really nice laughs good laughs right i'm just going to share with you this butterfly just done with ribbon very simple but looks really pretty and, and i've got a couple of flowers that i'm going to be showing you dead simple i, I think i've shown them before but and i'm going to use this um thread for stitching them together because it's quite strong thread and you do need a strong thread for this so i think someone's having some building work done so it might be a little bit noisy unfortunately and i'm just glued up ah oh. right so i'm not going to knock the end we don't need to I'm using a one and a half inch um, organza ribbon. Just pull a strip out. Uh, we'll do the butterfly first. So what I'm going to do is, oh God, that's noisy. I'm going to have my butterfly, I don't want it too big. So I'm going to have it like that, which is about one, two, three inches wide. I'm going to fold that again. Because it's double this one then cut it as you can see that's about right length for that so that's the first one just pop that in there and then we're going to do it slightly smaller for the next one which is the bottom wings and we've doubled that and then cut it and we can put that out of the way just move that out of the way so open it up um sorry we've doubled it silly woman i'm actually going to do this one slightly different so i'm going to cut that in half and then we're going to fold over about a centimeter like that and fold that let's just get that even that's it so I fold it, you can see, about a centimetre in the middle. And then I'm not going to knot it. Stitch down the middle with just a running stitch. Like that. I'm afraid this kind of thread can knot itself so I don't want any more than that and then I'm going to go under and back over but don't stitch into what you've already got because it won't pull just do it slightly to one side of it okay these are so easy really easy I don't know who it is that oh, see I've stitched into that and that's what you've got to try and avoid. So what I need to do, hopefully, I know that that's the end of it. Just take that off there, pull that out. It's still, when I pull it in, it's leaving me enough room to knot. So do the bottom wing first, pull that in wrapping it round once knot it like that so we've got one done and now we're going to do the top wing which is this one like we say we'll cut that And then fold it over make sure it's level like that you 
You don't have to cut it, but I, I do it because it helps me. And then we tap that into place. And then try and get it as even as possible. And stitch down the centre like that. And then you just go back down at the side of it. Again, trying to avoid what I did before. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, as long as you've got enough left on there, you can pull through um, like I did to tie it off. So pull it really tight and wrap it round once. My fingers don't want to work. Like that. I didn't do that. Sorry, my fingers just don't want to work. Ugh, you will work. Um, and then I'm just going to trim that bit off. Now you can either glue these together or do what I do and I just use the remainder of the thread to slightly put the top wing over the bottom wing and we just wrap and that gives something to anchor onto see like that you could do it with the while it's on the needle but I prefer to do it like this because I set it exactly where I want it which is of course important to get the butterfly wings right but there's lots of ways you can do these. You can do them any way you want. Whatever pleases you. Right, so I've now got that. And that's my little butterfly. Put the wings where I want them. Um, I take... Uh, I'm going to take one of these. Before I attach anything else. Put some glue on it, pop that in behind, like so, not worried about it at all, take a little bit of cloth, oh, I can do a little bit of ribbon actually, let me just get the end of a bit of ribbon, seal it off, like that, a little bit of glue on there and we just cover it like that and there you go you've got that and then to top it off I'm using some of these and I think these are a bit long I think yeah we'll just put three on which is just broken jewellery diamante chain that's all it is Okay, so we're just putting a little bit of glue on there and then we pop that on there as well. Now you can have a single row or a double row. I'm going to have a double row. On mine, I think. Like that. And there you go, I've got another one. Really basic, really simple, but they look pretty. So that's those two. I'm just going to put that away because I don't need that. I'm putting the wrong one anyway. Don't need that anymore. Um, and the next one is to do this one. And it's really simple. Really, really simple. So I take my thread. Where's my thread? Like that. Okay. Snip. Needle. And re-thread this. There we go. Again, don't knot it. Oh, and there's that one as well. 
the really the the more you put into this the fuller that that's only one layer see only one layer but they like individual petals put together so i'm going to show you on the larger one first and then i'll use a smaller one underneath so we've done this before i'm going to take a yard so i have a yard of organza So I shaped it like that, burnish the end um, and then I'm just going to start and stitch. Don't leave too long a thread, just long enough to tie it, that's all you need. Um, very similar to what we've done before, so that's three, four, five and six. Like that, so we've got that, that's your first petal. And instead of bringing it over, take it under this time. And just stitch across the folded section. And pull it tight. With organza, it'll stay put. So there's your first, uh, your second lot of stitches. Just keep that from gathering up. It's, this is done with it because of the thread I'm using. It's a crochet thread, really. Crochet cotton. Again, fold it backwards. So it's in a straight line there, going right across. And then you just stitch right across there. Very simple. So that's the second one. I'm going to do um, a six and a five. Bring the needle back up. One, two, three, four, five, six stitches. You can have those as many as you want on this. Fold it backwards and then stitch across it. These make the most beautiful, beautiful flowers. And you can put different centres in and your flower will look different each time. I see. One, two, three. We go to the next one. Folding it back across the ribbon. Like that. So this is our fifth petal, or petal, should I say? It does have a T in it. Again, fold it underneath. These are so pretty. And any um, ribbon or fabric, you can tear or rip fabric and do it. I hope you've been able to see this. Hopefully you have. Remember you've not knotted it, so don't pull it off. One, two, three, four, five. And our very last petal. One, two, three, four five six take your scissors and you're going to curve that that just makes it a really nice shape petal and do that then what we're going to do is to cut it like that So that was a yard of fabric. Pull it together and then tie that in a knot again. And I do a triple knot. Only for safety, that's all. Right, 
like that. Okay, okay. So that's your first layer. Now this one has three layers, but it was too much for me. I don't. I like the two layers, so I do a, a five. Uh, sorry, a six and a five. So we're now just going to do a five. We're taking some more of this. Not quite um, a yard because we don't need it. I had some left over. Don't waste that bit because that will do a two or a three or even one petal. Like I get three out of that. If I in, cut them into three different pieces and I still get three out of it. So again, shape the petal. Singe that. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And we'll do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's our first. So the fold goes back, you're folding it back on itself. Now you can put to get more of a gather in each petal just stitch more do an extra two stitches or something like that just gives you that extra bit one two three One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, fold it backwards. I don't want to just do a four. I might just yes. I'm I'm going to do that. No, I'm going to do a five. I changed my mind. <laughs> I was going to do just four. I'll put a five in. So we're going to cut it like that. Shape that off. Like I say, the lighters. I am waiting to come in. I've set the pink as well so if you're going to get them i've only ordered so many grab them while you can um i'll show you the video It'll, it will be on video when they come in but grab them because they go fast and people have been buying um when i do sell them more than one each so I think they buy them for family and friends as well, you know, for others that are crafting. So that's why you've got to grab them. I'll do another one. I said a triple knot, didn't I? And I, again, that's left me with enough to make some smaller ones. So we've got that. Where did I put the other one? There we are. We've got the six and we've got the five. I actually prefer the five, to be honest, I have to say. So I'm going to um, attach that. Glue. Glorious glue. Glue. 
Okay, so I'm going to attach that one to that, that one. Like that. I'm going to... Let me just see. Do I want to? Yeah, I do want to do that because I do like these. So I just take a couple of them. Take the green bit off. I'm not keen on that with these. And then we thread that through. And before we drop that down onto them... We top up with a little bit of glue and pull them into place. Isn't that pretty? And then pull the tab out and that brings them in. And then you can glue around. Let that set. And I'm going to cut it now, but I would let it dry. Just cut that. And then take your bit of fabric. You don't want much. And we just pop that on there. And there you go you've got yourself another pretty little flower and um, the thing is you can also add you know like leaves and um, well you can make them out of anything I might actually do that we we'll just see if I've got a wider one have I not in this but that's the wrong green where's my moss green don't know <laughs> no idea never mind let's see what we can do see if we can do something a little bit different right i now need a green thread oh here we are Let's just do something else if we can. So I've got about 20 inches of this and I think what I'm going to do, let me just see, I'm going to cut it in half actually and do two. Let's just see. So all I'm doing is I've joined it, look at that. That's the only thing with silk thread, it can be a pain in the butt because it gathers right hang on let me just do it this way oh I wish I could feel my fingers <laughs> you can't feel jack shit so I've just crossed it over about a centimetre here done a um, couple of tacking stitches and then I'm just going to stitch up the centre like that because I don't have a wide one you see um, but it will just go to that width by the time I've finished okay so all I'm going to do is to pull the leaf down like that but you're not seen a leaf done this way before. I 
okay and then we snip that off fold that like that and cut I use these I think oh tweezers and then I'm going to do that burnish that oops there we go and then what I'm going to do is to pin that together there so that's the leaf like that and I'm just going to burnish these and attach that even though I've put that on just going to attach it to the back like that and on here a little bit like that so that's given a little bit of a leafy thing there oh put these together again Do the same, fold it over, take it away from the edge because that's uh, you don't need it near the edge. A couple of tacking stitches and then just work your way back up the centre. So if you don't have the right width, make your own. And our motto is, say it with me, come on make what you can and buy what you can't make because there's not much you can't make to be honest you save a fortune okay so i'm just gonna do that Pin that off, fold it backwards, take your tweezers, you can either cut it, which I do, hang on, like that. And then you pop this to there, like that. Turn it back round, add your glue, and then we can attach that to that one as well. That touched a spot it shouldn't have done. because your leaves don't have to be flat you know and perfect you you need a bit of character in everything I'm just going to do a slightly different sized center And then we pop that over there like that and there you go you've got fancy leaves and if you really wanted to uh, 
enhance it a little bit better than what it was we can do some of these actually you know what no I'm going to put those in the petals so I'm going to do one two three like that do them all together should be able to actually do that with them I'm not sure if I can get them all the same give that time and we're going to pop that in there like that just for a little bit more added decoration and remember the stick pins I made I showed you how to make them very very easy I'm going to pop that in there as well and there you go beautiful beautiful let me just clear this so you can actually see Move that out of the way. Move those. We just unplug that because I don't want that on. So we have the fancy one with the fancy leaves. That one. The two butterflies. This one, like I said, you just can. I did lots and lots of petals. I did twelve on that, but you get that ruffled look. And then I did this one earlier, which is using the glitter flowers as well, but using the same technique for those. So there you go. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.